Hey guys, I'm Darren. I am Mike. Welcome to Irritable Dad Syndrome. Tonight we are going to do an encore presentation of Robo Monkey. And if you haven't listened to it, you're in for a treat. If you have listened to it, you're still in for a treat because yeah. we are throwing in special stuff in the middle of it. And this is you one of my. It's one of my. It. Yeah, it's one of my favorite episodes. It's a good it has one. it has robots. Mm -hmm. It has monkeys and robot monkeys and robot monkeys. Mm -hmm. um, there's an exclamation point in the title, mm -hmm. and <laughs> all three good reasons. Yeah. yeah. But the reason why we pick this is we go back and we find episodes that were great that didn't quite get the amount of love that we thought they deserved. Yeah. So that's why we're throwing that back out to you. Yeah. So please enjoy this encore presentation of Robo Monkey. This podcast is based on a true story. Viewer discretion advised. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, it's been rumored that your son was abducted by UFOs. Would you care to comment? Don't break that son. His mama reads that. She's just going to lose all hope. Welcome to Irritable Dead Syndrome. Now with more sound effects. Please welcome your hosts, Mike and Darren. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Irritable Dad Syndrome. I'm Darren. I'm Mike. What's going on? How you doing? I'm doing great. You? What up? Fantastic. Zing. Nope. <laughs> Sup, dork? That's how my kid greets me. My kid, yeah. my youngest kid, walks into the room. Okay. Sup, dorks? Sup, dorks? Yeah, he got it from Spider Man. Is that is that a Spider Man thing? It was Spider Man Far From Home. Oh, good lord! So okay. Cameron saw that whenever he walks You're into right. the room. Sup, dorks? Mm. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Ah, smack him around, but that's I'm, illegal. I'm, well, yeah. we can go down to Kentucky and do that. They still allow it in Kentucky. Woo! Yep. Here hey. we go. <laughs> This is episode We're very excited to be here, and uh, we're hoping that you're excited. We're hoping that everybody's with us. We're hoping that all of our regulars, and we're hoping there's some new people uh, listening to us each week. We've so, gotten some new people from Mexico yeah. and Slovakia. I know. What's with that? I, <laughs> I don't know, but it's wonderful. It's great. Like, we're multi-continental uh -huh. now. Okay, so about well, We week, were already multi-continental. Well, yeah, but about week three I went to or public four- school. Yeah. I was trying very hard okay. to reach out to our international audience. Okay. Now, I have a friend who is from Australia. I reached out to yeah. her, and I begged her, can you reach out to every person you know in Australia yeah. and ask them to download an episode of our podcast? Yeah. And she said, sure, I'll get on it. Nothing ever happened. But they don't know people down there. They don't like to know two spiders and a snake. And a kangaroo and a wallaby. Yeah. And a, and a uh, koala, koala and a pear tree. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that never happened. Okay. And then I have a friend in Canada, and she, I think she downloaded one episode. <laughs> I think. We've got a lot of one episode. So that was, that was our hit in Canada. But I was trying so hard. I'm like, by God, we're going to get an Australian audience if yeah. it kills me. That never happened. We did absolutely nothing to reach we'll out see. to our Mexican fans and our Slovakian fans. And now we're one of the top... 100 podcasts. We were number 52. In Slovakia. Was it 52 or 58? 58. It, yeah. And then we went to 107. <laughs> in like a couple of minutes. But here's the thing. Yeah. Is that we are a very small podcast, which is another way of saying that we're very desperate for people to like us. Oh, God, yes. So when we, get, like when, when we get a new person listening, mm -hmm. we go all out. We have yeah. Dave Lay make a A new thing. open. We've already got a... Yeah. We do that. We start calling them out uncomfortably. Yes. Uh, like multiple our, times, like our listener. Just ask the the person in France. Our listener in France. They're like, oh my gosh, am I the only person listening in France? Yes, there's you're one. The only person listening. In we have France. one listener in France, and we have begged this person. I don't know yeah. if it's a man or a woman. Yeah, we have begged our listener in France to come on the show. How many shows do you listen to that would like name the street that you live on and say <laughs> our viewer on blah 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 street? Well, and you're we, like that. They're talking about me. Do we know what street? No, or, we just know the country. But okay. I, yeah, yeah. I here mean, they I, would know that you're in. The I US. know you could narrow it down it, quicker yeah. in France than you can here in the United States. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, so welcome to our Mexican fans. Welcome to our Slovakian yeah. fans. Yeah. Welcome to hopefully maybe this week. Right. Maybe us, this will be the week. Right. We us, get Australian fans. Yeah. Right. Us. Here's the deal. Okay. If you're in Mexico, right. Tell us something happening in Mexico that you want us to talk about. Oh, that'd and be we awesome. We will talk about it with authority. Mm -hmm. Like we know what we're talking about. Right. If you are in Slovakia, send us a Slovakian a Slovakian fact. Yeah, send us something that you love about Slovakia. What does Slovakia do 
that no one else does like they do in Slovakia? Slovakia. That's do a they, good question. Do they have the best pancakes? We know that Belgium has the best waffles. Yes. We know that France has the best frog legs and snails. Mm-hmm. We know that Germany has the best... Hamburgers. And tanks. And, so, and cars. And cars. I Let's go through all the countries in Europe. We know that Spain uh-huh. has the best Spanish people. <laughs> Actually, actually, I've been to Spain. Spain is nice. It has nice it's, I hear streets. It's, I hear the it's streets beautiful. are nice. They, there was a thing there I saw, and it was really cool. A thing? Yeah, it was like you a gold be more, thing. You want to be more? Well, of- the Olympics were there once, and uh-huh. I, I, don't, I didn't know this. This is how stupid I am. Uh-huh. Whenever the Olympics go to a city, they like remake the city to host the Olympics. You didn't know that? I, I No. I knew that they like swept up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kick the bums off the street. Can you clean those windows? We got the Olympics across the street. Mop up the urine, exactly. you know, stuff like that. Pick up the subway wrappers. <laughs> the, the, I cops, didn't know that... the cops go through and move yeah. all the hookers four blocks down. But they had like, they built like statues. <laughs> they built like statues and stuff. And we're walking through and they're like, oh, this. I was like, wow, this is really, there's a lot of stuff here. And they're like, yeah, this is all from the Olympics. I was like, really? Yeah. Uh, huh. It's <laughs> been gone for a while. So why is all this <laughs> still up here? But well, I know anyway. when the Olympics were in Atlanta, uh, yeah, what, my friend Sandy, she went down to visit her sister who lives in Atlanta. Okay. And they went to a bunch of uh, games and saw a bunch of stuff. Um, okay. But they, yeah. <laughs> but no, but they opened up a uh, a house of blues. Just because the Olympics are coming. Well, yeah, there's just a boatload of tourists coming in. Ah. And so they, they opened it up yeah. and then they... You know, had a blast. Yeah. And they, I don't know if it's still open or not, but it was one of those things. You know, a lot of restaurants. Okay. Like, hey, you know. So yeah. if it, if they held the Olympics here, would we open another Kroger? Yes. Is that? Yes. Okay. The All Olympics. Right. The the 2040 Olympics in Westchester, Ohio. Or a Target, a Breaking Badless Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> they tried. Uh, Cincinnati tried really hard to get the, I don't remember. It was the, I think it was the Summer Olympics. And well, God, we didn't even come close. And but our point is, we've been rambling on and on and on. The hell were we talking about? We were talking about Slovakia. Oh, yeah. And our, and our new Mexican friends so who are listening to the give show. give us a Slovakian recipe. Send me a Slovakian recipe well, on the website. Yeah. On the, go to our website, yeah. irritabledadsyndrome.com. Yeah. Email us. There's a click there. Uh, click. There's a, good Lord. There's a thing there to uh-huh. click to get email. <laughs> Jeez. There's an email button there. <laughs> click it. And send us your favorite Slovakian <laughs> recipe. We'll cook it and we'll eat it, we'll eat on, it on the, the show. show. Yeah. Yeah. This reminds me of on Letterman where he'd say, You hear that, Paul? <laughs> That's people changing channels. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever been to Mexico? Yes. Yeah. I have been to Mexico. Yeah. yeah have I've, you? Have yeah, you I've been yet? to I've been to Cancun. Okay. And uh we took a cruise a couple of years ago. Okay. And we hit a couple of I don't remember a couple other towns in Mexico. Yeah. I bought some really cool Christmas ornaments okay. at this little shop, and yeah. we had uh, really good food, and the, the uh-huh. cruise was great. We were at a beach one day, yeah. beautiful white sand, and it was uh-huh. really something else. So uh, I went with the Spanish club. I was in the Spanish club. Okay. And we went to Mexico City, to Tosco, where we went to on a pyramid. We were on one of the pyramids. I got pictures of me in one of the you know, okay. pyramids. And just the funny thing is we've got a nice picture of the pyramid from, you know, pretty far away mm-hmm. where it's just in frame. If that were a wider screen uh, camera, right. like in back of the day, right. you'd see little gift shops right on the side yes. selling. Uh, and they, they tried they to sell just, my friend. They this, just have to ruin it. They tried to sell my friend Jamie a black dildo. What? <laughs> made out of obsidian dildo what better way to yeah. celebrate a trip to mexico and we loved reminding him that out of all of us mm-hmm. he was the one he was the approach one. to sell that and then after that we went to acapulco and acapulco blew my mind i would because say the street on the ocean front was like what you would think acapulco would be like mm-hmm. and then the other st- facing the other way so if you're standing with your back to that street looking in towards mexico right there was tons of poverty it was it was you know it, it felt like they were being um what's that called Just i don't have no idea what you're taking talking about. advantage of or like it's like all the money is on this side of the street like people over here drinking stuff out of a pink flamingo right right <laughs> 
just a douchebag with his hair, yeah. you know, some douchebag from uh, yep. Connecticut. Well, you know, with that, his hair that happened drink, drinking <laughs> with, a, with his hair, drinking a pink thing out of a flamingo, <laughs> and and talking about his his yeah. yucket. Anyway, and, uh, exploited is that exploited? I think was that so, the word yeah. I was trying to think yeah. of. I think okay. so. This portion of our show is brought to you by Crank Cola, the cola that's only sold in glass bottles, just like God intended. Big news here on the irritable dad syndrome front. Mike and I both had our second COVID shot. You're going to be immune soon. Yeah. Two, two, uh, I heard two weeks because I posted a picture mm-hmm. of me licking a doorknob. Yes. And one of my friends from college said, uh-huh. whoa, 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 two weeks. Two weeks before, before you can, you can lick the doorknob. So there's a. I, I, you didn't even ask me. Mm. I would have told you to wait. I don't I, take medical advice from you. I tried to hug my pharmacist and she was not going to have it. I don't think so. Anyway, my pharmacist, when she called my name to come in and get my shot, she yeah. said, Do you run? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, well, I don't understand this. I don't understand. I, I'm like, that's me. Yeah. That's me. Do you run? No one can pronounce my name. No one can spell my name. Yeah. And that's why I tell everybody my name is Mike. <laughs> <laughs> so I just, nobody can screw up Mike. Yeah, but you don't have a weird name. It's not, I know. It's a common know. name. It's not common, yeah, but it's also not hard to say. It's two syllables. Dar- well, I say it's N. common because one of my friends when I was growing up was Darren. I know I, a I couple people Darren. named Darren. It's not like your name is Ishmael or Ahmed. Again, I've got, or, a, friend, I've got um, a friend named Thaddeus. Bartholomew. No one has a problem Thaddeus. with Thaddeus. Yeah. So I had massive amounts of sleep, and I had one of those continuous dreams. You ever had one of those where you're... You have a dream, you wake up, you go about your life for a few hours, you go back to sleep, and it's like, and right. we're back. Uh, I haven't had one like that. So so when I got the shot, I got home and best thought that I felt like I had a little bit of a fever. But I took my temperature and it didn't feel anything, but I, my forehead felt hot. I went to bed and just fell asleep, and I had one of those dreams. I had a dream that we were going somewhere, and we were trying to pack the suitcase, Mm-hmm. And I couldn't find all the stuff to put it in the suitcase. Right. So it's one of those dreams where I'm going around the house. Where's the thing? I need the thing. We need the thing. If we don't have the thing, they're not going to let us through the through the, the and, deal. And you don't know what the thing is. I don't know is. what it is. And right. I don't know what the thing is. And then I wake up and I go, you know, I actually fell asleep in the a couch here. I went up. I got some water, hung out with the family for a little bit, started feeling super tired again. Go back to sleep. Pop back in. Where's the damn thing? And I was like, oh, here we go again. I'm in yes. the thing. Where's the damn thing? You know, over and over. I have I, had those. For 17 hours oh, of man. dreaming. And then I woke up. It was sometime Sunday. I don't know when it was. We had football games to go to. Came back. Slept all the way through until Monday until it was time to go to work. Yeah. And then I was fine. It was fu- It was actually very relaxing. <laughs> I was being sarcastic. Except, except for the fact that I couldn't find the thing. And I, didn't really, I don't, still don't even know what we were looking for. Now, I've done that. I've had those dreams where I couldn't accomplish one thing yeah. until I accomplished this thing. Yeah. And I kept trying to accomplish thing A. Yeah. And again, I don't know what thing B is. Yeah. And it's frustrating. It's very it's a, it's do one you, of them anxiety dreams. Well, do you have recurring anxiety dreams? Cuz no. I have I have a recurring theme in mind. I've had well, as far as a theme, yeah. Like when I worked at the grocery store and I was new to the grocery store, I dreamed that I couldn't go to bed until I was done bagging groceries. <laughs> Dude, the conveyor belt was a mile long. <laughs> I was bagging and yeah. bagging and yeah. bagging and bagging yeah. and bagging. Apparently, everyone's had the dream where you're in school, you go back to school. Yeah. And for me, I've showed up yeah. and um and I, I haven't been to school in weeks. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. I can't remember where my locker is. <clears throat> and there's then a I'm like, there's do, a test. Do I go left to do I have English and then math? Yeah. When's science? Holy crap. Yeah. I didn't know what was what. And you get into class and the teacher, my teacher said, Well, well oh, hey, check it out, everybody. Mr. Cox has said to come back to school. <laughs> and it was the day of the final exam. I, yeah. And I woke up and it literally took me. A few minutes of uh-huh. being awake to realize, yeah. oh my God, I've already graduated high school. Okay. Yeah. Wait a minute. I've graduated college. <laughs> well, that I was gonna ask you <laughs> that was 30 years ago. I was gonna yeah. ask you because mine follow me where I where I've gone. So like when I, I had them about high school, uh-huh. and then I had them about Ohio University, mm-hmm. and then me and Bess went to UD, and I had them about messing up in UD, like I'm gonna fail out, I'm gonna waste all this money and blah blah blah. And mm-hmm. then I went to school uh with my last company they they sent me 
And that one's stuck. I still have dreams about that where I'm like, it's like the third day and I have no idea what's going on. Yeah. But then periodically I have the one where I have no pants and I'm sitting in biology (laughs) class. Hello. You know. Well, I dream about walking around with no pants because I'm often walking around with no (laughs) pants. This portion of Irritable Dad Syndrome is brought to you by Whoppers All Beef Footlong Hot Dogs. Whoppers are packed full of flavor and guaranteed to be a hit at your next tailgate party. Get a ruler and measure it yourself. If your hot dog isn't a foot long, we'll refund your money guaranteed. So what are you waiting for? Get a family pack of Whoppers today. You'll be glad you did. Now back to Mike and Larry. My lovely wife is driving us home Mm -hmm. from church Mm -hmm. and she surprises everybody. She takes a right where she would normally keep going straight down the road. And then she pulls into Arby's and we're all like, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Because she never, ever pulls into Arby's. Arby's isn't really something you spring on people. (laughs) Well, she says, I'm getting everybody a treat. Oh, She says, how would you like to have milkshakes? And it was like, well, yeah, hell yeah, milkshakes. And she's like, I'm craving a Jamocha shake. The hell's a Jamocha shake? It's coffee flavored milkshake and it's delicious. Okay. You don't know what Jamocha is? I I do now. You told me. Okay. We pull in. I'm really trying not to take you down rabbit holes this episode. (laughs) Like last I'm, week. I'm going one question and done. Either I get it or I don't. We're going on. <laughs> that one I got. Okay. All right. So she orders two small Jamocha shakes mm-hmm. for me and her, mm-hmm. two small vanilla shakes for the boys. Okay. All oh, vanilla. Good choice. Yes. Tell them I'm proud of them. I, I'll, I will. Okay. Well, we get in there and uh, the lady hands us the two Jamocha shakes and okay. the four straws. And she says, it'll be a minute on the other two shakes. Mm-hmm. And we wait. And we wait, okay. and we wait, mm. and we keep thinking they're going to tell us to pull forward, and then yeah. they'll bring it out. Finally, yeah. a guy comes in, he says, I apologize, our machine has frozen up, we're <laughs> not able to make, <laughs> and the, the look on the kid's face is like, <laughs> what? Was he messing with you? No. Are you serious? No, he says, our machine has, <laughs> it's frozen up, we can't make the fourth milkshake that you ordered. Because we ordered two Jamokas and two vanillas, so it's four. One of the kids gets a vanilla. One of the kids... <laughs> Oh, doesn't no. get a shake at all, oh, no. or they split one, right? Yeah, and so, and you know, with kids, you are gonna have to split one, or you're one of us to... doesn't get one. Either option's bad. Yeah, you're gonna have um, to fight actually, for it. Yeah. Actually, the kids said, "Well, we can we can split that one." Yeah, they were they were pretty cool mm-hmm. with it. Mm-hmm. So, I'm going to give a shout out to Arby's. They were very cool. Okay, they said uh, we'll give you a refund, and Lady said, "Okay." So we figured they would refund us the one milkshake that we didn't get. Yeah. They refunded us all four. Oh, wow. Yeah. So okay. they give it, here's your, here's your complete total back. We are apologizing for mm-hmm. this and um, thank you for coming to Arby's. And we're like, okay, cool. Wow. So we got three free milkshakes because they couldn't give us a fourth one. Wow. So thank you, Arby's. That was nice. That was nice. Yeah, very nice. This is our life. This yeah. is how we live. Yep. This is what's called bonus material. Yeah, bonus material. Yeah, yeah. Just, just take a minute or okay, two. This, but... is, this is just Mike. Pretend the microphones aren't here. This is just this Uncle just Mike, us. Uncle Darren just we, shooting. The we shit. actually do every once in a while talk to each other. We are sitting on sometimes. the front porch and just gabbing. So I really want you to get the geography of this okay. correct. Yeah. So picture a bed. Okay. Okay. I've, on, got it. Bess's side is on the left side, closer to the door. Okay. My side is closer to the windows because I like to leave the windows, the shades, everything open. Yeah. She's like, you really want people seeing? Yeah, I don't care what they see. There's a tree right there. Yeah, yeah. I like looking out the. I like waking up and looking out the window. Uh-huh. I like the sun hitting me when I. <laughs> I just. I, it's what I do. If it's like our house is like, yeah, there ain't nothing worth yeah. watching. <laughs> <laughs> so Marbles likes to sleep under the covers. Okay, you heard me right, under the freaking covers. Yeah. and he's always attached to Bess. So here's what always happens. Uh-huh. Bess typically goes to bed first. I mean, by like 10 or 15 minutes. Right. You know, sometimes I'm up there first, but usually she's up there. She's on her phone or she's reading or something. And then I come up and I'm going to read. I tr- I'm trying to read at least 20 minutes before going to bed. Okay. As I'm doing that, we hear... Bum, 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 bum. It's Marvels. He jumps up. Uh-huh. He walks over, puts his... <laughs> five to six inches from my face... And waits for her to lift the covers, and then he goes down next to her, uh-huh. and he plops himself down somewhere in her knee region. Okay. Or butt, you know. Yeah. I, it's, you know, in that area. Why She's not? down there. Why not? And then usually five to ten minutes later, boo up the stairs. She walks over 
near me and I'm like, Booba, do not like she likes to jump up and land and lay right where my legs are. Mm-hmm. And I have to move her. Yeah. And she says, and I quote, mm, <laughs> when I move her, but I move her over near Bess's feet so that I have room for my body, uh-huh. which includes my legs. Yeah. And then I have the ability to bring my feet out from under the covers because I get hot. I have the fan on. Yeah. So it's, I can control my own temperature. Yeah. And then we go to sleep. Yeah. All right. I typically begin sleeping, laying on my right side. Facing out the window. Yeah. With Booba and Marbles over next to Bess. Betwixt you and Betwi- the wife. We, everyone has all the room they want. She wants the dog. She likes having the dogs there. Uh-huh. I don't mind them. Marbles will lay next to you. If you're unlucky, he'll have a paw that sticks at, at you. Uh-huh. Booba will walk over, stand up, shake off, walk over, stand, and plop down with her body to the point where it pushes you mm-hmm. over about no. uh, about six inches or so. No, I'm not doing that. And I say words. Mm-hmm. I get out of bed. I move her. Yeah. Again. Get the dog out of the, the thing. The dog would be out of the bed. I go to sleep. Mm-hmm. Everybody's fine. Yeah. I wake up. My leg is half hanging off the bed. My back is arched because I've got a dog in my back. Yeah. And... That's been happening an, an exceptional amount the past two weeks. And just yesterday, I started to feel a little sore back. Today, you notice every time I cough, yeah. it's causing me pain yep. because laying like that has, is just doing that. And you're an old it fart sense to me a bit. Yeah. I'm an old fart. And I want to tell her, Booba, <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. Just be where you are. Yeah. Be thankful that be you're thankful in a bed. Be thankful that you can be in a bed. Yeah. Don't get all up in my grill. Yeah. So I know that they are our pets, and I know that we brought them into this house. I know that every time I look over and see Boo- uh, Marbles' is yeah. five inches from my face, that's Marbles. That's yep. what he's going to do. Yep. But at least he'll go under the covers and leave everyone alone. And Booba, love her to death, loved snuggling her when she was like a pound, still love snuggling her now. Mm -hmm. I just don't like it when she moves me. Yeah. It's like paranormal activity. You've seen the movie Paranormal Activity where shit happens while they're asleep? Yeah. Like, I end up facing the other way sometimes with my body contorted like the exorcist. Like, what the hell has been happening to me? You sound like me because, I mean, I don't have dogs. And when we had Conrad... Conrad used to sleep in the bed. Yeah. And he would get in the covers too. And he's a lot smaller than, even smaller than marbles. So he wasn't really a problem. <clears throat> yeah. He would get, usually sleep at our feet and never, you know, got in my way or anything. But my God, I had to get the dog out of the bed because yeah. I started worrying about his safety. And this is the same thing like when the kids were asleep. The kids used to want to climb up in bed with us. Yeah. And I wouldn't allow it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cause I knew, and I feel like an <laughs> a father. I wouldn't let them sleep in the bed because I knew they do it once. I'm never going to get them out of the bed. Yeah, 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 I'm going to yeah. be in like 90. Yeah. They're going to be 53. They're still going to be in the bed. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. But th- my other thing was I'm a freak in the bed. <laughs> oh, bow, chicken, bow, bow. Yeah. And not in a good way. Yeah, yeah. I toss and turn. Yeah, yeah. I roll over. I wake up uh, upside down on my stomach. <laughs> It's like I have two pillows. You, you wake up like Dabney Coleman and what yeah. nine to five with the chain to the ceiling. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I used to walk in my sleep and I used to talk in my Damn. sleep all the okay. time. I woke up in the bathroom, standing there watching the shower running. Okay. <laughs> this is when just, I was in high school. My yeah, mom yeah. comes and says, Darren, what are you doing? I looked at her and I said, I'm going to bed. And I turned <laughs> off the shower and I went to bed. I woke up in uh, another bedroom one time yeah. at the house. Woke, I woke up, up in Fresno. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I've woken up on the floor. Okay. <laughs> it's true. And the, the stories of me talking in my sleep uh-huh. are uh-huh. just, uh, that's like, like a whole new podcast. Libby, we need, we need yeah. audio. Yeah. <laughs> but still, now, uh, especially since I've put on some pounds, if I wake up on my stomach, yeah. My back is hurting yeah. for three days. Yeah, yeah, okay? yeah. Because yeah. I can't sleep on my stomach. And then I have sleep apnea and I have a mouth guard that I that I have that keeps me from uh, snoring really bad, keeps me from having the, the apnea. Yeah. But yeah, I sleep on two pillows uh, on my left side. Yeah. I wake up, I, I wake up all different. Yeah. yeah. What the hell happened? Yeah. Libby yeah. can lay down and wake up exactly in the same position. Yeah. 
like like she's just like a brick. That's Charlie and, it, and Andrew. And it pisses me off. They are wherever you yeah. left them. And when know. we're watching TV at night and I get sleepy, I get restless leg syndrome. I yeah. cross my feet. They're uncomfortable. I put them next to each other. They're uncomfortable. I cross them the other way. They're yeah. uncomfortable. I cover them with a blanket. They're too hot. Yeah. I uncover them. Then they get too cold. Yeah. I put on socks. Then my socks start rubbing my ankle hair, and that bothers me. Yeah. I take them off, and then they're too cold. Yeah. I'm a freak. Yeah. You know, and the older you get, the worse it gets. I know. And I hear stories about, you know, it's people's like husbands get in trouble. They're going to be sleeping on the couch. I love sleeping on the couch. <laughs> My God, the couch in our movie room downstairs, uh-huh. it's God, I love it. Yeah. 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 Well, I, I, I used to get super hot. Mm-hmm. And I, this, it's, I mean, the basement can get really cold. Yeah. This, this, that thing's got some mileage on it. I'd be laying yes. down here watching a movie yeah. and just click or not, yeah. whatever. And yeah. Yeah. I'm out. And, yeah. you know, it's great. I'll just stay here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we interrupt this program for a special announcement. Congratulations to our one listener in France, Irritable Dad Syndrome's Listener of the Week. This has been a special announcement. This fasting thing, mm-hmm. the fact that it's cutting me off before the, the, the devil food creeps in. <laughs> Is, uh, I mean, that's right. worth it already. And and so Bess was making the statement, well, you, did you really need an app to tell you that you shouldn't be eating Cadbury mini eggs, <laughs> See, Doritos, was, and dill was, pickle chips at night? That was my question. It's like, yeah, I kind of do. I'm you're, kind of a conformist You're not prick. supposed to eat after 8 o'clock. I know. And they, I know, that, because... and they did the whole thing with the gremlins. That was kind of that whole thing. Don't feed them after midnight. Right, night. right. Because yeah, you're I inactive. The food just comes in. It just sits on you. Yeah, but that is, they don't, they forget to mention that people who work for a living mm-hmm. and have kids, Yeah, that's the magic hour when you're not working that's and right. the kids are in bed. That's right. Now it's daddy's time. And right. daddy wants pickle chips. Yes. <laughs> Daddy wants a bowl of cereal. Yeah. yeah. Daddy wants all the ice cream. I, yeah. Now forget scooping out of the pint. Cut down the sides of the pint. Right out the box. <laughs> That's yep. right. Yeah. That's right. Oh, yeah. Peel the cardboard off. I know. I know. And you got a little Fez hat of happiness sitting there <laughs> right there in your bowl. Do you know how many times Libby and I bought cookie dough for <laughs> oh, the last time? I never got to that point. Yeah. For the yeah. last time, this is the last roll of cookies we're we're gonna do that. Oh, I thought yeah, I thought you were gonna say like a roll of cookie dough and just eating it like a candy bar. Oh no, we bake them. Okay, I mean occasionally, you yeah. know, a little piece yeah. of cookie dough might fall in my mouth and yeah. I'll eat it. You know that's <clears> not <throat> healthy. For, it's not good for you. You have raw eggs and you yeah, get like whatever. a botulism. Whatever it hasn't whatever killed me yet. Is. But yeah, Growing. I don't know how many times we've bought a box of Duncan Hines brownie mix okay. for the last time. Totally lost count of how many times I bought a box of Little Debbie Swiss cake rolls. For yeah, the last I'm time. I'm not a big... I'm not a, I'm oh, my God. I now love the nutty, those. the nutty bars. I love Little Debbie Swiss Rolls as much as I love either of my children. I was addicted to nuts. <laughs> Little Debbie, please send some our way. <laughs> I was addicted to Kroger's Hot and Spicy Nuts uh-huh. for a long time. <laughs> they have... <laughs> They have three Kroger's nuts that I love: the hot and spicy, uh-huh. the uh, honey roasted nuts. Oh no, I love honey roasted and the nuts. toffee nuts. Now the what? toffee, toffee nuts. To- I got some up there. I'll give you some before you oh, go. Okay, yeah. They look like you know the eggs in Alien that yeah. come out and face huggers are in them. Yeah, that's what they look like. Okay, they're good. Okay, yeah. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I will do. You I, thought I had more of the story than that. That's it. I, That's, I did, yeah. I will good. definitely try they're the, really good. Uh, the toffee nuts. Yeah. So now what were you telling me when we got here about oat milk? Okay, here's the deal. I've been having a problem with dairy for a while. Uh huh. That's and, why you were farting like nobody's <clears throat> business well, last week. That's been going on for years, but I've okay. powered through it. But <laughs> not last week. <laughs> <laughs> it's been going on for a couple of years. I have trouble with the knowledge that this came from a cow's udder. <laughs> It really bothers me, but uh-huh. there's there's been no other options almond like does. almond. I know, yeah, I know, yeah. I know that. In my in intellectually, I know that. I don't want to know that when I'm looking at my bowl of cereal or when I'm eating ice cream. I don't want to know that this came from a a, a cow's teat. <laughs> you know. So I one of my one of the people that I follow, one of the podcasts I listen to, uh-huh. uh, Scott Johnson. He he tweeted out that he's. Of all the fake milks, oat milk is is his his pick. So like, I'll try some oat milk. You know, uh-huh. I'm impressionable. Uh, <laughs> so I got I got a carton of oat milk, 
And I start drinking it. So Bess does what any normal spouse would do. She sees me drinking the oat milk and she says, what's with the freaking oat milk? Right. What the hell was that? And uh, Who are you I, trying I, to impress? I told her, you know, I was like, I can't, I just, you know, we got into this whole discussion about almond milk and she says, you know, there's a debate of whether almond milk is almond juice. I hate it. There's a debate on that, whether it's almond juice or well, almond milk. Well, it's not milk. Because there's not <laughs> Right. On almonds. No. And I said, there's not ah. on oats. No. But here's the deal. Those are the smallest damn ah. yeah. I've ever seen. <laughs> here's the deal. There's no cow involved in oat milk. Uh-huh. And I said, if you're going to drink milk, all right, or eat mm-hmm. cereal with, with cow milk, you have to be comfortable with driving by a pasture, stopping your car, going out to the nearest cow, getting down on the ground, uh-huh. putting part of their udder in your mouth and sucking that out uh-huh. and ingesting it. And liking it. That's why I can't drink milk. I will drink oat milk. If someone pours me a glass of milk, I just stare at it and I think that was in a cow's... Uh-huh. <laughs> in a period. I love milk so much I could drink it if it came out of the cow's butt. I can't do it. Yeah. That's now, where chocolate cream, milk comes from. <laughs> now, ice cream... So, like, the obvious question is, well, how do you do ice cream? I love ice cream. Yeah. Ice it, cream is, is far enough removed... It's not. ...that I can deal with it's it. It's not. I can deal with it. It's not. It's like cricket bars. You know they sell cricket <laughs> bars now. No. You can get a protein bar made out of cricket protein, basically okay. ground up crickets. Uh-huh. If you go to It's Sugar over here in Liberty Center, okay, they sell packets of crickets, sugar-coated crickets. Sugar-coated crickets. Yes. And you okay. can eat them. You could almost... I There's no way in hell I'm going to eat... Or, hey, okay. There's no way I would ever walk down here in the basement, see a cricket, and pop one in my mouth. Right. Okay. I am more likely to, but still highly unlikely to buy a bag of sugar-coated crickets and eat one. Mm -hmm. Now, if you give me a a protein bar and you say it's made out of cricket protein, if you pay me enough money on a dare, I might take a nibble of it. Fig Newtons, they come from, you've heard the thing about Fig Newtons, they have like wasps. They're made out of uh, like wasp the hell are you talking about? Fig Newtons are made out of figs. Are made out of figs, which is a fruit. Yeah. It's not made out of wasps or bumblebees. Yeah. Or hornets. Figs themselves are fruit that grow around a dead wasp. That grow around, but it's still not made out of wasp. It's made out of wasp. No, it's not. It's using the wasp. You are full of. It's using wasp to make that. Okay. Okay. I'm going to stop right now. You are you are no longer allowed to talk on this episode of <laughs> the podcast. <laughs> Oat milk, and it, I, I will agree. When I drank it, mm-hmm. and I used it, you asked me about the protein uh, when I made the protein shake. Right. I use oat milk. It's pretty good. What's it taste like? It's. Have you ever had almond milk? Yes. Okay. I hated almond milk. Okay. So did you? Now is it flavored? Oat no, milk? No. Okay. There, there are flavored ones, but I got the standard. I want the classic. Okay. Okay. Now, I, was... I, I don't like. I can't take almond milk. I don't like it. Okay. I, I oat can't milk, stand oat milk. milk is in between almond milk and cow milk. It's closer to cow milk. If it's cold enough and you're convincing yourself that it's cow milk, mm-hmm. you almost think you're drinking cow milk. Right. And then when you're in, full in, of in my mind, when I start to go like, oh my God, I'm drinking out of an udder, I'm like, no, this is an oat. I'm drinking an oat. But it doesn't bother you when you eat a <clears throat> burger that the animal that you it was slaughtered. That's starting to yeah no they, no they, I'm I'm becoming I'm I'm heading towards being a vegan I'm I am okay. I'm heading that way okay uh, we I told you the ninja uh, items that we have the ninja food right. items right so it has the the ability to cook a small chicken so I wanted to do that mm-hmm. uh, we did it a couple of weeks ago and I had a real problem with that uh, like touching <laughs> the chicken. <laughs> And putting it in there and then eating it. I felt really guilty. You can ask Bess. I felt really bad. I, I, was like, I believe this is like, you. And I eat chicken. Like, chicken uh, is my jam. I eat chicken all the time. Okay. But something about holding the chicken and the skin. I mean, the only thing that was separated this from a live chicken is that a live chicken has <laughs> feathers and it's walking around. <laughs> there's, a, there's a few more things. The only thing that's separating this dead chicken from a live chicken is, well, one of them's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had I had a problem. Stupid. I had a problem. I had trouble getting to sleep that night. Okay. I'm not okay. kidding. It was, okay. all, it was rough. 
God, well, all I know is I may be a vegan. The next time, with the, this time next year, I may be a vegan. Okay. I may be like 120 pounds and have bo and oh. armpit hair <laughs> coming off. Wait, the you top don't have armpit shoulder, hair now? Like come off my shoulder? Oh, okay, okay. Because <laughs> I didn't know that was synonymous. You see with me being start wearing bead vegan. bead necklaces uh-huh. and listening to Dave Matthews. <laughs> what would you say? <laughs> Wear my sandals and judge you. (laughs) (laughs) This portion of the Irritable Dad Syndrome podcast is brought to you by Bone Suckin' Mustard. It's not mustard unless it's Bone Suckin' Mustard. Don't Google it at work. Trust me. Bone Suckin' Mustard. We're talking serious. We were talking about cereal earlier, and uh, I was telling you that we've been watching a lot of shows on Hulu, and we don't have the Hulu without the commercials. So we get to see all these fun commercials that you typically don't see. Okay. And they've been advertising uh, jumbo snacks, Kellogg's jumbo snacks. The hell is that? It's, it's cereal. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's cereal. Okay. Bigger pieces of cereal. So oh, wait, every like time they have yeah. enlarged cereal pieces and yeah. you eat them like Doritos. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, just so what I need with this every, fasting thing. Yeah. I know. Every time we see the commercial, the kids like jumbo snacks, jumbo snacks. Woo. So, I'm at Kroger. I'm doing the shopping. I pass them by. What the hell? Mm -hmm. Let's buy some jumbo snacks. So I buy the Fruit Loop jumbo snacks. And it's a bag about the size of what you'd put in your kid's lunchbox for potato chips. And it's Fruit Loops, but they're bigger. You know, whenever. And I'm like, uh, okay. There was somebody who said, hey, how about we make the pieces bigger and put it in a bag and there'll be jumbo snacks? And (laughs) like, I love that, Roger. Yes. And they run with it. I don't know. I gotta. I gotta just, go. Just grab a handful of cereal. I gotta go with the silly putty theory. Is that uh-huh. somebody somebody screwed up in the factory? Yes. That the guy in charge of making the the size right was asleep <laughs> on the job. All of a sudden, all these big Fruit Loops came out. Supervisor said, "I'm going to get fired." No, I know what it was. One of the pieces of Fruit Loops got bitten by a radioactive spider. <laughs> got ginormous, hulked yeah. out. Yeah. And uh and then what they did was they just franchise on it yeah. and made these jumbo pieces of cereal. Yeah. But well, even yeah. we can make a buck off these things. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. we don't have to throw the whole thing out. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm about to go out to the lobby and get myself a treat. Now back to our program. I've become addicted to Starbucks in the morning. Mm-hmm. Um I and it and it's it's terrible because they take the absolute longest to get coffee. I go I, I I'm in the drive thru. I'm used to people in the morning. In the morning, when I'm getting coffee, I want someone to say, can I help you? I want to say, I want a large black coffee Mm -hmm. and a bottle of water, and that's it. That's what I say. And then I want them to say, okay, we'll see you at the window. And I want to pay them, and I want to go on with my life. That's what I want at 6.30 in the morning when I'm making these transactions. Okay, Starbucks is, I hear there's a voice, and it's I know her name has to be Brittany. Or if the guy has got to be Skyler. Oh, no. You know, like, not, a, not another Skyler. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. Uh, how can I help you? Yeah. And I have to, you have to say, cause when you're at Starbucks, you have to say a grande. You can't say large. That's stupid. It's it's stupid. Yeah. And their their normal coffee is Pike. So if I'm at a normal place, the Pike Place Roast, all right? If okay. I'm at a normal coffee place, if uh-huh. I go into any normal coffee place, right. I want a large coffee. Mm-hmm. It says everything. I want a coffee, right? And I want it large. Yeah, that's it, right? And a bottle of water. That's all you need to know. Okay. If you say I want a large coffee, they will question you. Do you want a pike? And then you'll say, "What's a pike?" Right. And they'll say, "That's our medium roast." And you'll say, "What are the other choices?" They have a blonde, and then they have whatever the hell their dark roast is. It changes all the time. Mm-hmm. You know, and you say, no, I just want to, I want a medium roast. Okay. You want the pike. So to avoid that conversation, I've acquiesced. I, <laughs> I say pike. You acquiesced. I acquiesce. And I said, I will get a pike. Uh huh. I still didn't give on the large versus grande because that sets <laughs> me off. Right. There's a me, there's memes. There's a comedy routine about it. Uh huh. I've stand strong on that. I have stood strong. I want a large pike. And then they do one of two things. Mm-hmm. They either correct you. Do you want a grande pike or a tall pike? And I don't know. That's Those are two different dimensions. I don't know what those are. Or they just say, okay, you want a grande pike. And for something about that pisses me off more yeah. than anything. 
It's like, no, I said a large pike. I didn't buy into your corporate idea or right. whatever your mission statement of what g- large is, is mm-hmm. grande in your world. But anyway, so now I just do. I just don't want to talk to them. So I say a grande pike. All right. And they're always so excited uh, to get that. They're so excited that they, if they have a bottle of water, go around and get the thing. So what bothers me about all this stuff is the the cheeriness. I can't take that level of cheery. Right. I want to go back to Duncan mm-hmm. and the other places where they're not as cheery. But now I'm so jacked up. I've gotten used to the Starbucks level of caffeine. I can't go back. It's like I'm, I'm hooked on the good no, stuff. Not, like, you know what? Look, I'm if hooked. you can fast, you can go somewhere else. This is the get one thing. Coffee. I'm fat. That's that's the reason I have to do this is because I am fasting. I got to mm-hmm. get myself something good. But I'm going to snap on one of these uh, Britneys or Skylar. It's one of Why these are mornings. you going someplace? Mm-hmm. To get your coffee, don't yeah. you have a Keurig? We don't do. Don't you have a coffee maker at home? Yeah. Can't you brew coffee and then and save the seven dollars every morning? A, it's four dollars. And if it's four, and, it might as well be seven. And B, you have to wash a coffee mug for that, and you have to know where the okay. coffee yeah. mug oh. top and the coffee thing. In and the you don't, bottom. do you? I don't know where. Any do you want me to help you is. find some things, Mike? Yeah, I don't. I wouldn't put okay. you through that. I have never had coffee at Starbucks. Really? Never. I've never had coffee at Dunkin'. It's it's dry. You've yeah. heard somebody say a, a dry wine or a dry, you know. I don't know what that means because it's still if it's wet. I know yeah, it's wet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, when it's, it, somebody's because I, I happen to be drinking a wine right now, mm-hmm. someone says this is the dry wine. I know what that texture. What is. does that mean? It's it's um, <laughs> less water. Uh huh. <laughs> I don't know. Right. I don't. I'm going to pretend like I know. Right. I don't know. It's got a weird, like, your aftertaste. You know, like, cotton mouth, like, if you're thirsty? Mm-hmm. You have that after you take a drink of it. That sounds delicious. It's wonderful. Not. That's why you get the bottle of wine. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I can't see myself paying $4 for a coffee that I don't know if it's big or small or what. Yeah. And then they don't have a small, do they? They have a medium? It's a tall. It's a tall something and a grande. Okay. Tall, venti, and grande. That's okay. the meme. It's are like those, three different those languages. Those are the three? Those are the three. So what is tall? Is that the small? Yeah. And then venti is medium, uh-huh. and grande is large. Okay. Yeah, this they reminds me... They can't just me. say small, medium, or large. And, and it's annoying because it's an American company. They've incorporated some other language into their thing, and it, the question is why. You're an American company. You're selling coffee to Americans. Or if you're not selling it to Americans... You're selling it to the people whose language you've taken over, and right. they all know that you're an American company. Right. So who are you fooling? Nobody. Nobody. Right. Now, it reminds me of the Brian Regan routine. Mm-hmm. If you go to Netflix, his okay. new comedy special is on Netflix. Okay. I strongly recommend you watching it. Uh, he talks about whoever came up with the rules for tennis, the score. Mm-hmm. Uh, and <laughs> and it's just like the same yeah. premise yeah. at Starbucks. Fifteen love, whatever. Right, that, yeah. right. Why don't you do one, two, three, four? Why don't yeah. you do small, medium, large? Yeah. Come on, yeah. it's not that hard. Yeah. You don't have to take small, medium, and large and make that complicated. Uh, if you go there, they have you, they can get a, a banana nut bread. They call well, it, that ba- sounds delicious. They call it, it has nuts in it. They call it banana nut loaf. Oh God, you're not buying a whole loaf of bread. So I always call it banana. Uh, um, nut bread. Uh huh. When you get it at the drive-thru, mm-hmm. it's they just hand it out to you, and it's in a in a paper package. If you ever go in to the Starbucks and watch them, they pull it out of basically like a little Debbie snack cakes uh, box, <laughs> like, like an Inman box. And it's like yeah. individually cellophane wrapped from the factory. They unwrap it, they put it in this paper, mm-hmm. um, this Ooh, paper you smell container. That? That's fresh. Yeah, and then the paper container basically says, "We just made this here fresh for you." Oh, not right. and then and then they hand it to you. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah th- I don't I'm, know why I go there. I go there all the time. I'm going right. to go there tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going to bitch about them. Make coffee the show, here. And I'm gonna make go coffee tomorrow. at home. Yeah, and then I should. I should. Save, I do that sometimes. Save but, the four bucks every day. Well, I there's there's coffee at work too. It's weird. There's it's like coffee I could, at work. I could okay. drink coffee here. See, this is where I could drink gonna... coffee at work. It's a twenty minute drive. I'm spending this money. You don't need to during spend the, the money. Twenty minute drive. That's money you could blow on uh, CDs, concert it's, tickets. It's true. You could buy another black t shirt. <laughs> you could buy another pair of Spider Man and Superman <laughs> pajama pants that you wear on your weekly jog. 
You could buy anything with that four dollars that yeah. you're spending every day going to Starbucks. Yeah, four dollars right. a day in thirty days. That's one hundred twenty dollars. That's yeah, good math. Good lord, I know. You could start smoking again. <laughs> that's almost fifteen hundred dollars a year. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Now, see, when I used to work at the station, yeah. I've been working from home for over a year now. Yeah. Um, the station bought um, White Castle coffee. Yeah, I've never had White Castle coffee. It's great. Is it? Why? Yeah. Why? What's it like? What coffee is it like? I need comparison. Uh, Duncan? Sanka? I don't know. It's just <laughs> like it's just like a can of JFG. You open up the thing, and then you... Yeah. yeah. It's coffee. It's okay. delicious. Okay. So, okay. yeah, we would drink the White Castle coffee. Yeah. I would bring in my own creamer, and everybody was totally happy with the coffee there. You use the powder creamer or the, the no, stuff in the fridge? No, 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 oh, no, you no. Coffee There's, mate in the fridge. There, no, the co- vanilla? Coffee mate. <laughs> Get out of here with oh, your coffee oh, mate. Oh, all right. You're going fancy. I bought, No, it's not fancy, but it's delicious. There is this Almond Joy flavored coffee creamer. Almond Joy, like the candy bar Almond uh-huh. Joy? Uh-huh. Yeah, Almond Joy flavored coffee creamer. Sweet Jesus on a pogo stick. Yes. Where, where is this stuff sold? Kroger. Really? Yeah. The Kroger that I go to the and we love went, and we talk about all that's the time? the one. Yeah, they have Almond Joy flavored coffee creamer. They also have Cold Stone Creamery flavored oh coffee creamer. Oh my Lord. Yeah, shut okay. up. They have Fruity Pebbles flavored coffee creamer, no, which I don't. haven't. They do. No, they don't. They do. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I haven't bought that because right. I'm not a psychopath. I'm gonna try but those. But I love the I love the almond joy flavor coffee creamer. Okay. My wife got me hooked on. Do you it. like almond joys like the candy bar? No, but I like the coffee creamer. Okay. My wife loves almond joys. Does, does yeah. it have a coconut it, tinge to it? Mm-mm. Why don't you like almond joys? Because of the coconut. Because the coconut. <laughs> the co- <laughs> it's a texture thing. Okay. <clears throat> it squeaks. The coconut squeaks on squeaks. my teeth. I don't. I'm not a fan ah, of coconut. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. You can right. you can dislike me all you want. It's like the shredded wheat of <laughs> nature. <laughs> I like shredded wheat. <laughs> You're listening to Irritable Dad Syndrome now with anti cavity protection. The other day I went to the dentist. I had my cleaning. The, you take the old Brillo pad to your jaws. You'd think. Yeah. Oh, uh, I, I love my dentist. Uh-huh. I do. I actually kind of look forward to going to the dentist because okay. usually the lady who cleans my teeth is funny, mm-hmm. and my dentist is really funny, and he's okay. a super nice guy. Yeah. And um, one day I was getting my teeth cleaned. This is like a year or so ago. Okay. The dental assistant cleaning my teeth. She'd asked me. She said, "You know." I was watching the news the other day, and I could have swore, is that you on the TV when the news opens up, the animation that comes on? Are you on there? And I was like, well, I was. I was like, yeah. And I'm up there for like a second. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. A second, right? And they did this animation, and I'm holding a camera, and I turn to the right, you know, a little bit, and then WLWT, and it kicks on, whatever. I'm on it for like a second. She recognized me from that. Dude, you're famous. I know, I know. So I used to be... Anyway, what I did was I grabbed a still, a screen grab of that, and I autographed it, and I took it to my dentist's office. (laughs) And for the longest time, if they knew I was coming in, they would put it up on the wall, and they would have my... (laughs) It's not on there now, and I was very angry. Oh, man. Because I'm like, I I don't know where my picture is. I want it back up. (laughs) Anyway, I had a different lady okay. cleaning my teeth. She's also very nice. Yeah. She was going to town on my teeth. All right. Like with the with the scraper. Like, uh-huh. I, do you want to just take the teeth out, clean them, and put them back yeah, in? Put them in a rock tumbler. <laughs> exactly. We'll see what I think it might be might be a little bit easier there, but you know. <laughs> but I got the biggest kick because, you know, the music's playing yeah. and she starts singing. <laughs> While she's cleaning what, what, my what teeth. What music is playing while they're cleaning like, your teeth? Like the Eagles and James okay. Taylor and, All you know, right. Dennis music. But, you know, because <laughs> you know, she's like, I got a peaceful, easy feeling. I'm so, yeah. Is everything okay with the kids? I'm like, ah, 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 yeah. ah, you know. I love when the dentist asks you a question. That, yeah. When they have fingers and hands in your they mouth. They have to know that that's a thing. I mean, <laughs> I Bill Cosby talked about that in the yes, 70s. Exactly. It's been a thing for like 50 years at this mm-hmm. point. Well, that's when they talk to you after your mouth is numb. Yeah. I'm talking yeah. when when there's like four hands in your mouth. Yeah. Years ago at my dentist when I lived in Tennessee, mm-hmm. and I'm convinced that Dr. Dyer was doing this on purpose to me. I'm laying down there and I'm getting a, uh, was I a filling or something something complicated. I was in there for a long time. And he starts talking to his dental assistant. Okay. And he said, um, 
I saw this movie on TV the other day. It was uh uh oh boy, I can't remember the name of it. It was the um it was that guy and he was in prison and he's uh uh, at the end, you know, he he escapes from prison. It's him, and it's him and the African American guy. And I'm thinking yeah. Shawshank Redemption. Okay. And, and she's like, "Oh God, was it Escape from Alcatraz?" He's like, "No, no, that uh, had Clint Eastwood in it." And they're like, <laughs> 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 he's sort of drilling, you know. And he's like, "No," and <laughs> you know, uh, this, uh, I can't remember the actor's name. And I'm sort of going, hur, 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 hur. "You okay there, dear?" <laughs> hur, 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 hur. Yeah. dear you know. <laughs> you just want to just just Shawshank Redemption. It was the Shawshank Redemption with Tim Robbins and Morgan Freeman, yeah. directed by Frank Darabont. <laughs> oh my God, they were killing me. Well, there's some big news uh, happening. Yeah, well, monkey, the monkey's running crazy yeah, through Cincinnati. Yes. Five monkeys on the loose in Price they, they Hill. Know they know it's five. They know it's five. I believe it was five. This was on Jimmy Kimmel Live the uh-huh. other night. Yeah. Uh, I was watching the video this morning. I was laughing myself silly. They mm-hmm. showed the video of the, of the guy taking it. And like like Jimmy said, it's like from a, a Motorola Razor from 10 years ago, uh-huh. the video. But yeah, it's yeah. crazy. Yeah. And the zoo, it's not from the zoo. No, it was a some guy had exotic, had exotic pets. Which I didn't think you were supposed to have them, but I, I mean, I I haven't really been keeping up. I don't know if he illegally know. had monkeys. I don't, I don't know or, monkey law. I don't. I don't know monkey. <laughs> but I'll tell you what. I'm watching it next season. Monkey law on NBC. <laughs> and then there's going to be monkey law Chicago. Yeah. Monkey law Los Angeles. Yeah. Monkey law CSI monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> the first forty eight with monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> robo monkey Ro- it just keep going robo on monkey on. <laughs> yeah yeah half man half monkey half machine yeah robo monkey They're all monkey <laughs> <laughs> but no there's been all these memes about you know this is how you know planet of the apes got started. oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So it's fun when we're in the news why I, are we always I'm in the, the news for stupid <laughs> <laughs> you know remember when the cow escaped no you don't remember when the cow escaped no bush was still president Okay, we might so, not have been here. We we moved here in 2007. A cow escaped the slaughterhouse and was on the loose. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, no, the, the what's even better was like they had aerial footage of <laughs> cops chasing this cow. And the cow got into the woods and ran off and got loose, got free. Yeah. You know? The whole country was like, we can't kill this cow. We yeah. can't send it back to the slaughterhouse. Yeah. There's no way. And so... <laughs> It's like well, like the Shawshank we're, cow. We're just trying to protect you, you know. The cow's like the hell you are. <laughs> so they finally captured the cow oh. and sent it to a farm. After oh, dude, it, yeah, can yeah. you go see? Can you go visit this cow now? If it's still alive, oh, I'm it, sure it was it a long time ago. But okay. I think we have the book. I believe wow. we have the children's book. It wasn't too long ago. Yeah, when another guy who owned all those exotic animals, <laughs> lions and tigers, and yeah. <laughs> he had a ton of wild, crazy animals yes. you're not supposed to have. Exactly. Jack Hanna had to come down from yeah. the Columbus Zoo and help in the capture. Okay. Which most of these animals had to have been shot. They were on the loose. In the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah, we have wild animals escaping we, Cincinnati all the time. I remember there was a rig full of hogs that crashed in Huntington, West Virginia. Oh, man. On the inter- Well, it was either Huntington or Ashland, Kentucky. That was either I can't remember if it was past the the thing, but apparently um, there were hogs mm-hmm. all over the the road and falling off the overpass. Hogs don't understand overpasses. No, no, they, no, they don't. don't. They, they don't stop. know that when you hit an overpass, you got to go slower because yeah. it freezes. Yeah, and it's slicker. You are listening to Irritable Dad Syndrome, Cincinnati's comedy podcast. That's right. <laughs> Laugh it up, fuzzball. <laughs> there is a particular movie coming out that I'm excited. Oh, Black Widow. Yes. Yeah. We're going to see that in the theater. Okay. Because we're both vaccinated yes. at this point. Yes, we are. So piss on them. Yeah. We're going to go see it. Yeah, we're going to sit right next to each other. Um, but they Eat were... Eat popcorn out of the same box. Yeah, but they were, they were saying... I, I, I saw a thing where... Um, uh, Kong versus Godzilla mm-hmm. is like the number one movie in the world uh-huh. right now, and there was some discussion of how is this possible. 
And it was like, how is it not possible? <laughs> it's like nobody is going to see, you know, uh-huh. Legends of the Fall or whatever the hell, like, movie. <laughs> Remains you have of the day, day. No, Downton Abbey. No. We've we've been through 2020. We're done with it. We want to see a giant monkey fight a giant lizard you, in a city. You know what? <laughs> Let's jump back a couple of years. Yeah, I mentioned Downton Abbey. Uh-huh. When the Downton Abbey movie came out, it opened up the same week as the the last Rambo movie, and Downton Abbey clobbered Rambo <laughs> at the theater. <laughs> Sylvester Stallone, Rambo, got his ass kicked mm. at the movie theater by a bunch of English socialites. <laughs> I'm the hoping- last Rambo movie wasn't really good. I I didn't see it. Don't it would have been to. good for a, as a TV movie. Okay, but, yeah. uh, like. Like Cinemax or a very special episode of Everybody Loves Raymond or something. <laughs> it's like, oh. hey, why, why are you killing all these people, huh? Hey, where's Deborah? How come you? Hey, come on, you don't have to kill all the people. If it were like, what, what was are you it? doing? What was it? The Equalizer that was popular when we were kids. It was. You remember that? Yeah. Yeah. With, so, uh, Edward Woodward, the guy, the old guy. You're like, he's too old to be an action guy. Yeah. But, yeah. No, he, he still kicks some butt. So. Right. But no, I'm hoping when the theaters open up. Because uh-huh. I'll tell you, I miss the popcorn. I do. I miss, I miss the, the popcorn. movie popcorn. I miss seeing the trailers for the new movies. Yeah. I miss the really... I mean, we've got a nice movie room. Yeah, you do. You can't compare no. it to going to the movies. Yeah. You know, I want to go into the Dolby Theater with mm-hmm. the red speakers, you know? Yes. Yeah. And do just we... get into it. Yeah. Like, roll with it. Yeah. But I... The thing I don't miss about the movies is the people talking behind you, and then my wife has to stand up and threaten to fight every one of them with her bare well, hands. People are going to be talking their asses off when yeah. these things are Can you open. believe we haven't been to the movie oh over a year? Look at it. I haven't been here. I have been hurting. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> shut the hell up. Yeah, shut up. Yeah. I haven't, I've been to the movies twice in the past year. Have you really? Yeah, we went to see the Crudes. Remember, I told you about the Crudes, oh, the worst yeah, movie yeah, I've ever yeah, seen. Yeah, yeah. It's like Charlie like, really, really wants to see that. Like, don't, we've come close to buying it a few don't, times. Don't, 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 I don't know, but do not buy it. Don't buy it. Okay, let do me not ask you, own let the me movie. Ask, let me ask you this. Okay, have you seen SpongeBob SquarePants: A uh, Sponge Out of Water? No, that's one of the funniest movies I've ever seen. In my okay, life. I like SpongeBob. Do you really? Um, yeah, I'm, of course I'm a fan of SpongeBob. You've got to, oh, you've got to watch that movie. Yeah, Sponge yeah. Out of Water. Okay, you will tickle. You'll die laughing. Okay. I was in, I embarrassed Andrew. I was laughing so hard. <laughs> That's how I was with Despicable Me too. Can I tell you a small? I point? literally f- damn near fell out of my seat laughing at those stupid minions. So- let me let me tell you a small moment. Gotcha. There's a moment where SpongeBob, I don't know how this happens. He ends up on a space station orbiting like Jupiter or something. Mm-hmm. Okay. And it's run by dolphins. He's talking to a dolphin uh-huh. that's in a robe and standing straight up. Of course. And he's talking about how they're going to do something or other. And he says, excuse me, I have to go to the bathroom. And he, he waddles off the screen. And Sponge, they do real time. SpongeBob just standing there, like being SpongeBob. <laughs> Me and Andrew sitting there in the theater. Mm-hmm. The dolphin comes back, and it has a thing of toilet paper trailing <laughs> on its flipper. <laughs> I was, awesome. I was cackling. Yeah. I was cackling so loud that Andrew's face was red. It was awful. He, 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 I, and you I watched this at home? No, no, in the theater. Okay. In okay, the theater. Okay. He was embarrassed because I was laughing so loud. I couldn't yeah. stop. All right. We've got some fan questions. Yeah. Kim wants to know uh, why do Cincy folks have such deep misunderstanding of chili? <laughs> She's got a point. Yeah. It's like a brown sauce. I know. For That's anybody who does not live in Cincinnati, which is a lot of people, we have listeners. We have listeners in France, Mexico, Slovakia. Two listeners in France. <laughs> Yeah. In Cincinnati, Ohio, you can get something called Skyline Chili or Gold Star Chili. If you come it's spaghetti yeah. with chili and about 18 pounds of cheese. If you come top. to America mm-hmm. and you land in Cincinnati, Ohio, do not get chili. That's <laughs> that's not chili. You get chili in Texas, mm-hmm. Louisiana, yes. New York. Mm-hmm. Chicago, yeah. those are places you get chili. Cincinnati yep. is has to be weird. Yeah, They're, it's the oat milk of of chili. It's <laughs> it's the oat milk. it is. I don't like it. I'm sorry. You know, you can get the conies, the little the miniature hot dogs with chili yeah. and cheese, and I put ketchup on mine. 
and uh, I don't care what people Jesus. say. I put ketchup on my hot dog, and I'm not going to take ah, from you I put, or anybody. I put ketchup on my hot dog, but a okay. normal hot dog, not a coney. Right. The hell's wrong with you? Cam, thanks for your question. And our uh, our last question of the night, Steve wants to know, what's the cheesiest pickup line you've ever heard or the cheesiest pickup line you've ever used? Oh, Now, Lord. I was not good at picking up. Oh, I know people were surprised. Oh, Darren, you probably dated girls all the time. <laughs> I was not good at meeting women, and I didn't have a pickup line. I really didn't. Yeah. You know, I, a good one that I've heard, this one guy I knew, he would ask women, what's in that drink? And then... Like, seriously, that works. What's in that drink? And he swears to God that it worked every single time. But the dumbest one I ever heard was, um, if I could rearrange the alphabet, I'd put you and I together. That's that's, uh, that's the worst. How did you ask out Beth? She, I, well, I got up enough courage. But the I guess the best line is one that she used on me. Mm-hmm. She said, you look like Tom Cruise. (laughs) I believe all emotional and psychological disorders can be cured with Vicks Vapor Rub. For some reason, I'm doubting. (laughs) That's what she she, said. She did not. She did say that. It was the very first sentence she ever said to me. She said, you look look like like Tom Tom Cruise. Cruise. Okay. I had hair back then. Uh huh. <laughs> I find that hard. And I, in my mind, you can ask her next mm-hmm. time you see her. You can ask her. And in my mind, I thought, well, hell, I've half the battles won already. I've, I've. She already thinks I look like Tom Cruise. Right. I'm hoping that's a good thing. We're gonna wrap up the show with okay. what I describe as the most epic comeback. Of all time. Okay. Okay. And this was a story that happened to me. An epic comeback that you delivered. That I delivered. Oh. Yes. I've been known. It's like I'm kind of quick. I can I can yeah. get a good comeback sometimes. Throw, throw a zinger yeah. out there. I can throw a zinger out every now and then. Yeah. When I was in Tennessee, this uh-huh. is in the in the nineties. Yeah. I was in my twenties. Okay. My buddy Adam and I are driving around Johnson City. We're in my car. We got some music playing. We got the windows down. Yeah. I read a red light. A car pulls up next to us and it's two girls. Okay. The girls look at us, and one asks me, are y'all gay? <laughs> okay. Okay. Now. Which is what I said to you the first time we met. <laughs> now, listen. Yeah. We weren't listening to ABBA or, okay. or Barry Manilow okay. or uh, It's Raining Men. Okay. Okay. We weren't listening to any music that would make someone think yeah. we were gay. We weren't wearing pink. We weren't holding hands. We weren't making out. No. I'm driving. He's in the car yeah. next to me. Uh-huh. We weren't doing anything yep. to make people think that we would be gay. Not that there's anything wrong with Not being gay. Not that there's gay. anything wrong with that, yeah. <laughs> so she pulls up and she says, are y'all gay? Yeah. This is when I looked at her and I said, no, but I would be gay before I had sex with either of you. <laughs> the light turned green and I... <laughs> her jaw drops to the floor and you hear Adam go, oh! <laughs> I never saw him again. I'm proud of you. I'm (laughs) proud of you. Hey, guys, it's Dave with special instructions after this message. When I say stop, I need you to pause this podcast. Then you can restart it New Year's Eve at 1159 p.m. That's when Mike and Darren will have a countdown bringing you into the new year. Got it? Okay, here we go. Stop. Wow, that actually worked. Please welcome back Mike and Darren. Okay, so it's 11.59 p.m. on New Year's Eve, and uh, we're about to count down. Thank you, everybody who is joining us on New Year's Eve. We can't believe this little stunt work. But we want to tell you that we hope you have an amazing 2024. A splendid yeah, 2024. Yeah, we hope, we hope all your dreams come true, and uh, uh, we hope that just everything is absolutely amazing um, in 2024. We yeah. want you to go to com, download every episode that we have. Buy a mug. Yeah. Buy a t-shirt. Yeah. Um, tell all your blanket. friends. Yeah, tell, make 2024 an Dude, irritable dad syndrome year. If you haven't already, go yeah. to Patreon. Because yeah. there's tons of bonus stuff on there. Like yeah, there is. hundreds of, literally hundreds of hours of video, uncensored stuff, bonus stuff. Yeah. Uh, okay, we're about ready to count down. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, to the new year, guys. Yeah. Here we go. And 10, 10 9, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 
one. Happy New Year. Yeah, have a, yeah. Yeah, Happy oh, New Year, everybody. Oh, that's nice.